Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at game number 16 in our 20 from the Intellivision series, and this might be the first uh, really, 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 really faithful port of an arcade game. Terrific port. Well, this was a port of a Daddy East classic in 1982, and this is Bump and Jump, and this was created by Mattel under license from Daddy East. And um, uh, Joe Jacobs and Dennis Clark, and th like I said, this might be the first incredibly faithful port of an arcade game for a home system. And uh, the side buttons jump, make your car jump, and the disc moves your car, and that's just about all you need to know for the overlay. One and two will let you choose between one player or two player alternating uh, turns but uh, don't be fooled by that uh, that opening scene there of of the uh, car driving in a, a, a almost a cockpit view that's not what the action is like <clears throat> excuse me that's not what the action is like it is like the original uh, overhead view with uh, small cars but uh, in this game, if you've never played the original, I have barely. Uh, it's 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 a good game. Um, you uh, drive this car, and you try not to be bumped into the side of the road, which is which will cause you to lose a car. You can uh, bump other cars into the side of the road for points, and you can also jump when you reach a certain speed. But let's get started. The music, the action is really, really darn close to the arcade. <laughs> it's this is the most I would have to say it's the most faithful port uh, from arcade to home system of its time. Now, this was released in 1983, uh, and the original arcade game was released in 1982. It was released for the Deco cassette system. It was also a license to Valley Midway, uh, and uh, it was also known as Burnin' Rubber. On occasion, you will have to jump over uh, where the road dead ends, and it'll dead end into uh, into the river. And if you don't jump in time, you will crash. Now, uh, getting points from uh, Getting points from uh, smashing cars into the side of the road will only net you like 200 to 500 points for each car. If you uh, try not to hit the cars to mash them into the side of the road, and you can also uh, jump onto them and kill them that way. Um, if you do not hit any cars during a uh, full... Uh, during a full stage, then uh, you will get a 50,000 point bonus. Definitely strive to get that because otherwise you don't score much in this game. And when you see that exclamation point, you will reach the dead end. And once the cars disappear, that's the end of the stage. And there it is, 50,000 points. Pretty nice. You get uh, an extra life at 20,000 points, so that's two free uh, extra lives if you get the uh, perfect bonus or the uh, didn't hit any cars bonus or smash any cars bonus. But again, yeah, once you reach 100 miles per hour at least, then you can jump and you speed up by holding up on the controller. And you can slow back down by pressing back on the controller. But yeah, you can jump right on top of cars and smash them. There will be uh, islands, and right now we're facing for the first time the uh, cars that will drop uh, bombs on the road. And the uh, divots will kill you if you run into them. And they'll smash other cars for you too. But that won't count towards your uh, smashed car total. 
boy, is this is this so faithful to the arcade original. Uh, players had never seen anything so faithful for a, a home port of an arcade game. You can jump onto those islands if your timing is just right, and you'll get a thousand points. But look for that exclamation point. That means the uh, end of the road is coming up. Sometimes it's... Uh, Sometimes it's uh, very soon coming, and sometimes it doesn't come for a while. You just have to get used to uh, remembering what what the uh, how long the delay is before the uh, end of the road appears. And you go through seasons as you complete stages. And I think there's only four. I think there's like winter, uh, winter, fall, spring, summer, maybe. But, uh, the, you'll just, there's no end, I don't think, to the, to the game. You'll just keep playing the stages over and over, and the difficulty will increase. Uh, some of the enemies you might be able to just bash into and kill without having to smash them into the walls. And again, you can jump and land on cars and destroy them. The cars do not seem to actively try to bash you into the walls. It just, it, they just, they just kind of bump into you sometimes. It doesn't, oops. It doesn't seem like they do it intentionally. There is a trick that I will show you later, in which, uh, you can jump off the road and still survive. It's, it's kind of hard to do you have to do it just right. If you mess up even a little, you're gonna crash. You don't get any extra points, I don't believe, for taking a, an alternate road, which you saw a little bit earlier. But, uh, again, if you jump, uh, when the road ends, and you time it just right and land on an island, then you get a thousand points, but you gotta jump off of that island quick. And note that after you jump and land, your speed has dropped down a good deal. And you'll need to uh, pick it back up by pressing up. Try to stay in the middle of the road when you get surrounded by a bunch of cars. Um, cause they'll wanna, cause they'll bump you to the left or right and you don't wanna be too close to the edge. There, that time I did not get a perfect bonus, but I got, uh, 500, I think it was, for each car. On, uh, round one, you get 300 points for each car you smashed. Round two, you get 400 points for each car you smashed. And round three and after, you get 500 for each car you smashed. And of course, if you didn't smash any cars, you get a 50,000 point bonus. And there I got my whoops. Yeah, I didn't quite make it to land. But I did get my thousand point bonus for landing on that island. I did not play this on the Intellivision back in the day. Uh, I just recently discovered it now, and I'm pretty impressed of how... Whoops. I'm pretty impressed with how, uh, how close a port it is. It really was, uh... There were no games that I can think of that that were this close to the original of, uh, of the arcade original for any game for a home system at this time. But uh, yeah, the original was created by Data East in 1982 for the Deco Cassette System, which was a, a, an arcade cabinet that had uh, a cassette tape deck inside, and the games came on uh, cassette tapes, and this game was also known as Burn and Rubber, and this also got a uh, Valley Midway license. I remember seeing, uh, I think both, both the uh, Deco original and the uh, uh, Valley Midway one in arcades. But again, when you see all the cars disappear, then you know you've reached the end. And uh, you're going to 
to stop and get your points totaled up for uh, uh, number of cars you smashed, or for not smashing any cars. Oh, I didn't quite, quite make it. When you die, you get pushed back, uh, I don't know quite how far, but a little ways back from where you were last. Aw, oh, I was hoping that was an island, because I felt like my timing was good to land on an island and get a thousand points bonus. But this was, this was pretty popular for the Intellivision, and you can see why if you've played the, uh, Arcade original. It's very, very close to. I was not ready for that water. But uh, that is bump and jump. We're gonna look t look at some uh, screenshots of uh, the next season, which is winter. And you can see the uh, the walls are white with snow. Um, I don't think there was any ice. See, it says next season is winter roadway number five uh, yeah snowy uh, snowy walls but um, in just a moment we'll look at the trick I was telling you about where you can just you can drive on the side of the road normally if you jump off the side of the road and land on the the wall you will lose a car but if you're if you set yourself up just right it's, it, if you're if you don't see your car at all on the left on the peeking out from the right side or from the left side then it should work but do not lay off the speed keep the keep uh, keep it as fast as you can now something I didn't mention is that you don't have to hold up on the controller if you're at top speed you can just let it go let the controller go and you'll stay at that speed and you can move left and right to dodge uh, the uh, traffic that's that's important to know because it's it's much easier to dodge traffic when you're not holding up on the controller the whole time but keep keep the speed up and stay here but one thing you need to remember is uh, you have to jump back towards the end of towards the road just before uh, the uh, just before that roadway is finished. If you don't, you will crash. And if you cut your speed too much, you will crash. If you jump again, you will crash. If you move a little bit left or right, you will crash. So just remember ahead of time how many uh, jumps there were and after the last jump jump back to the uh, main road and here I go yep and that's the end and I also get a 50,000 point bonus for no smashed cars pretty darn cool trick and you can I think you can make it work on any stage I'm gonna do it here too get my speed back up here Yep. Cool. <laughs> you just drive over the water. <laughs> but um, that was Bump and Bump and Jump, uh, originally created by Dad East in 1982. But the Intellivision port was by uh, Mattel and uh, Joe Jacobs and Dennis Clark. This is Crazy Clown Race, and thanks for watching Bump and Jump, game number 16, my 20 from the Intellivision series. See you soon with game number 15. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.